All right, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about the heat wave for the United States, specifically the eastern United States over the next few days. And we're also going to talk about what my what this means for the cool down that I was calling for later on. So we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content or videos like this, as I do make daily videos like this usually. Anyway, let's get right into it. We're looking at the GEFS, which is the GFS ensemble model. And this is for Wednesday. So this is for today. And you can see that we do have warm throughout the four corner states, central United States, and then into the eastern United States, with the exception of a little bit of those Gulf states there. Uh, we do have some average temperatures for those areas, but besides that, we are very above average uh, in, in the central and eastern United States, except for those few states. Now, moving on to tomorrow, you can see there's a lot of heat there for the central United States. You can see New Mexico up into Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, portions of Colorado, Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin, Minnesota, areas like that. We're looking at temperatures from 4 to 12 degrees above average Celsius, which is going to be very, very noticeable. And along the East Coast as well, we can see temperatures from 2.5 to 6 degrees above average up there. Still going to be pretty noticeable for those areas as well. Moving on to Friday, though, you can see it's moving further and further east. And you can see this is affecting a lot of the northeastern and mid-Atlantic states by this point, as well as the Great Lakes states, Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois as well. All of these areas seeing 6 to 12 degrees above average Celsius. Again, that is very, very warm and very, very noticeable. Now, again, Saturday, it's kind of the same story. Moving a little bit further east there, New England getting the brunt of this one. I mean, you, are, you guys are 8 to 16 degrees above average, so very, very, very warm at this point. Now, you can see things are starting to fizzle out by Sunday. Not quite as warm, but it's still located over the same areas. And then by Monday, again, still fizzling out. And you can see this cold area for the central United States starting to move in. And again, I told you we would talk about my cooldown I was calling for. We're at the 22nd now. And by the 23rd, you can see everywhere in the eastern United States and central United States is below average by this point. Areas in the central United States are well below average, actually, by this point. And then you can see by Wednesday... This model is also calling for cold temperatures in the southeastern United States, central United States, and northeastern United States by this point. Some areas even 6 degrees below average Celsius. Again, that is kind of where you start to really notice it uh, at that point. Now, we're also going to look at the ECMWF EPS model, which is the European Ensemble model. And you can see it's warmer in the eastern United States on the 22nd, again, just like the GEFS. But by the 24th, you can see that cool down has taken place and you can see colder temperatures there for the central United States and eastern United States. Again, this one's only calling for about three to four degrees below average Celsius, but still would be quite noticeable. Uh, and then also you can see by Thursday, we're still below average there for the southeastern United States and northeastern United States. Just wanted to clear that up because people were like commenting on that calling for a cool down video or whatever. They were like, Yo, well, people are calling for above average temperatures. My local channel, the weather channel, all these people are calling for above average temperatures. Well, the above average temperatures are before the cool down I was talking about. That's what people didn't really uh, take into consideration. It was that the, the, there is going to be a heat wave, like I said, this entire video. And then the cool down comes after it. And that cool down was the original one I was calling for before. So this isn't like a heat wave happening while I was calling for a cool down. This is a heat wave happening before I was calling for a cool down. So I just wanted to clarify that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.